I could smell it right now as we speak. I'm not insulting nobody or nobody's food. I'm just saying that there's a string of food I can't even fucking smell. <clears throat> I can't even be in the same room. One of them being one of the most favorable Cuban foods there is, yuca. Can't even be in the same room. I don't want to be in the Crazy. same fucking thing. Fucking nuts. If I sit at your table, put the yuca on the other side of me, please, because you'll insult the shit out of me. What? All the way down there. All the way down there. You, and then you told me broccoli, and I ordered broccoli next to you in Boston. You didn't say anything. Because I couldn't fucking smell it. Good thing you uh -oh. told me that. Once I smell it, then I'm going to say something. Can you please move the fucking broccoli? <laughs> I went to a concert one time at the L.A. Hollywood Bowl, whatever the fuck. The whole time I sat there with a headache. I didn't know what it was, bro. It smelled like fucking something. I looked down and check out a box of fucking broccoli. What? I wanted to hit her in the head. Who goes to a concert and eats fucking broccoli? You know what I'm saying? This is what I deal with. This is what I fucking deal with. This is my world, my friend. See, that's who I can... If you want to torture that person, go ahead and do that. Who? The person who brings broccoli to a concert. Please, there's no... Listen. But you torture once you bring, unsuspecting people. Once you bring broccoli to a concert, there's no help for you. <laughs> You've passed the barrier reef. I can't fucking help you. There's no fun to I can't them. fucking help you. It's a point of no return. Expose, 87. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's, what, are you crazy? Fucking broccoli to a concert. That's the world we live in today. And people are Ketchup, mad at me right sauce, now. Anything. Right. Ranch, blue cheese, nothing. Marijuana. That's all you bring to a concert. Marijuana, quaaludes, Cocaine, acid, whatever you got, you bring to the your mother's pain medication. You don't give a fuck. You don't want no, you don't want any snacks. No, I'll get snacks later after the fucking concert. Who takes me? You know, but they have these outdoor concerts, and that, that, that's what I was saying. It was like disco, and I went over to the Hollywood Bowl, and people put their blankets down and shit. This wasn't the cheap seats. This was like the good seats. My wife worked there, but it was uh, the lady had broccoli. I could not fucking believe it. I cannot believe it. That's Cali and Miami. They'll sneak in, and so, you know, all types of stuff at the movies. Oh, no, I don't mind food at the movies. A good fucking, uh, oh, please, a nice uh, little Cuban sandwich at the movies. But you got to be selling, sitting with your homies because yeah, yeah, yeah. you can smell a Cuban sandwich, too. See, I got, I got fucked over at the movies a couple weeks ago. Some guy had nachos oh. next to me. And I, 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 used to be, I used to have a craving for those movie theater nachos. Not, any, not after sitting next to it for 45 minutes, I don't. How bad did they smell? Oh, they smell terrible. I'll tell you what else I can't smell. Popcorn. Well, you popcorn know, drives me. My wife likes popcorn. Do you like? Do you mean popcorn or do you mean the butter or both? I like popcorn with butter, a little bit of salt, and a lot of fucking pepper. You got like Spider-Man senses in your nose. Yeah. That's fucking nice. After bro. I stopped doing coke. You put pepper on popcorn? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. No, you don't. Parmesan cheese, little pepper. Pa Parmesan, okay. Oh my god. Little goodness. Parmesan garlic, Parmesan little pepper. That's like the pepper. most hipster thing you do. And with a little fucking butter, you mix it in there, fucking good. That's popcorn, not that shit dry. Like I'm in a fucking prison camp with no water. I need two gallons. I gotta get up eight times during the movie. Don't put butter on it. You better put fucking butter on that motherfucker. Well, I'll put it on your side. No, put it on the whole fucking thing. Because before I do it right, before the lady come in. You, moron, what the fuck, come here. <laughs> you put a little bucket under there. You hit it with a little butter in the bottom. See, these fucking animals just put the popcorn on top, and then they hit it in the middle. No, 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 no. Burn through the bag. When you make lasagna, you put shit on the bottom, don't you? Yeah, same thing. You put a little butter on the bottom. You dope up that bucket a little bit. <laughs> get the bucket ready for what's coming in there. Oh, you, you know get the saying? bucket, okay. Then you hit the popcorn three, four, five inches. Again, <laughs> a little bit of fucking butter. <laughs> A little bit of salt, a little bit of fucking pepper, a little bit of garlic parmesan so you get it in that bottom level, okay? You want to do it right. Why has everybody got to be a fucking animal? This was not taught to me. This was not a video that I watched. This was not on fucking one of these cooking shows. This is something I figured out from sticking my hand down there and looking for shit. And now you got 18 fucking napkins. And guess what? You got to get up anyway to go wash your hands unless you're a fucking filthy animal. How are you going to watch that movie with sticky fucking hands the rest of the movie? You get up and wash your hands? Oh, I bring extra napkins, extra right? Three napkins, yeah. Yeah, but that three napkins. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to save trees. Get the fuck out of here. Three napkins. I'm bringing 18 So I get a napkins. fucking okay. bucket. I put butter in that motherfucker. Yeah. Then I put popcorn on top of that. Then I hit it with the garlic parmesan, a little pepper, a dash of salt. And I hit it again with that three, four more inches. Then I hit it with a little butter, a little salt again. Then I dip it with two more inches. And then you, but before you add those two inches, you stick like a fucking straw in there, right from the counter. And you mix it up good like one ayako. 
You know what I'm saying? You, dog, I'm telling you. This is how you do fucking popcorn. I'm never going to but, the movies with you. How long does that take? I'm, oh, I'm just minutes. picturing the order, him placing the order. No, no, because you got to stop me and go, excuse me, ma'am, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> you know, me and you, we're Americans. We're going to do this as well as the right way as Americans. This is how Americans do popcorn. Hit an inch of butter in there. What are you saying? Hit the bucket with no fucking butter in there. I don't want no popcorn. Put an inch of butter in there. <laughs> now put the popcorn in. Three inches. Now stop what you're doing. Give me the popcorn. Trick, trick. Hit it with some butter, please. Boom. Before you do this, you put a five on the counter. I mean, I'm not a savage. You understand me? Now we're talking. You put a five on the go. counter. See, but what are you, what are you going to do go. now? Some, a lot of movie theaters, the butter is somewhere far away from the from the where they give you the popcorn. Yeah. Do that. Well, then take a hike, bitch. I'm giving you a five. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do it. You get ten fifty an hour. I'm throwing another fin on you. I'm a gentleman. Oh I wouldn't tell her to do the special unless before I even say nothing. <laughs> I put the fin down. I go, listen, I'm going to go to a little project here. Do you mind? <laughs> Here's a little five dollar bill. I do it all the fucking time now because I don't want shit the way they, they give it to me anymore. You ever do the popcorn at home? No, 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 no. My wife buys the bags and shit. She's like, we're having pop movie night. Now I got to sit there and smell this fucking popcorn for 20 minutes. I got to open up the back door. <clears throat> I hate all those smells, bro. I put Tabasco sauce on the popcorn. What? That's not bad either. But not yeah. Tabasco sauce. Dude, I, don't I don't put any Frank's. butter on my popcorn. No, I know you don't. Why would you do something like that? Who, why, who needs butter? You I need it dry like a prison of like kettle corn popcorn the oh, sweet that's one delicious. with hot sauce. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, that's nice too. Oh, uh, I throw some parmesan cheese on that bitch too. What are you parmesan talking? cheese got no cap, no no carbs. You could put a, a jar of that shit in your yeah. popcorn. Just because it doesn't have carbs doesn't mean you have to eat it. But it adds flavor with a little bit of fucking pepper and a little bit of fucking butter. Come on, Lee. I don't why know, be, I a, like why be a fuck? I'm the worst dud in the world. And I even knew that. You want to eat non-buttered popcorn? Like well, no, you're you're the one like who always talks about tradition. This yeah, is... there's no tradition in non-buttered popcorn unless you're a prisoner watching a movie on movie night. I put, I can put a the only people who don't eat pop butter on popcorn is, is convicts on fucking Friday night when you gotta watch PT two o nine with no butter on your popcorn. After three kernels, you're like, I can't take this no more. I'd rather do an extra year than eat this fucking dry fucking popcorn. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, but what about Parmesan cheese? I, I, I a little think Parmesan what... cheese, but you still got to have the butter in there. Right? When you make the tortellini, fucko, yeah, that's you put tortellini. butter in there. You also throw some Parmesan cheese in there and some black pepper. That's the flavor, Lee. You got to dope up everything in this fucking world. You can't eat it like they give it to you. If not, you end up like the rest of these mutts. You gotta take the time. It takes two minutes and a little bit of kindness to ask the girl at the movie theater, listen, can we do this a little fucking different? I'm gonna teach you something. Wisdom. Wisdom. Two inches of butter, popcorn, bop, 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 bop. You go in there, you got no problems. You li you enjoying your movie. The raisinettes are on fucking, and they're in the, what do you call it when the pitches are in the back? Pitching, warming up. Previews. What is it? Previews. No. When bullpen? They're in, they're in the bullpen, warming up. Right, when you're eating your popcorn, who, who's better than you? You got that buttery popcorn, you got some raisinettes, you got oh, the chocolate cup. cover ones. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna show up with just raisins? What am I? That guy who came with fucking broccoli <laughs> I, I, to the I, concert? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, that that's that who shows second. up with raisins with no flavoring. The same people who showed up to the concert with broccoli. But if the, the, like the people raisins? showed up with, with broccoli, did they have a sauce for it, hot sauce, anything, or was it just raw Listen, broccoli? These poor people, leave them alone. Just raw broccoli. Raw broccoli and they... Oh, no, but they had ranch sauce. They had blue cheese. Listen. They had something. The best they could have had was poison to dip it in. That's their best bet. Okay. All right. It doesn't really matter if they had blue cheese or ranch. Who shows up with fucking broccoli? It, it's crazy. It's, it's insane that you showed up with broccoli, period. But I just want to see how much crazier they were. Because if you show up with a sauce, okay, maybe... It doesn't really make sense, but whatever. But if you show up with no sauce, you're a complete savage. You're just eating broccoli, like, to survive. That's crazy. You know, any of these people that would show up with broccoli, they're probably, uh, they're on a fucking certain diet to impress their friends. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's what they, you know, they're on something, just broccoli. That's crazy. I don't have time for that, manager. You know what I'm saying? No. If you're going to get down, get down. You go to a concert to smoke dope, or eat cheeseburgers, or whatever the fuck they give you. I don't know what the name is. I have food at concerts anymore. I don't fucking know. I never went to a concert to eat. I was all messed up doing drugs. I got no time to eat at a fucking concert anyway. I'm going to eat at a fucking concert and jump up and down and get nachos on my shirt. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering if they have, they had like vegetables for sale at the Hollywood Bowl or she brought them from home. She brought them in one of those Ralph's containers. Oh, no. 
the ones that have everything in them. But sometimes you can just buy the broccoli. She just bought the broccoli. I've seen that. You've seen that. And it's fucking huge. Oh, my God. So she opened the tub, and I'm like, what's that fucking odor? No, anyway. I've seen, I've seen periscopes of girls doing that on planes. Like with like vegetables, they bring snacks for playing. You have, you have no idea how bad food. If you really, you know, everybody walks around making believe they really fucking care. <laughs> if they make believe they really care, they care about that. No, you don't, because you wouldn't do certain shit. If you've ever smelt McDonald's on a plane, you never show. You know what? Do me a favor, bro. Unless they sell that food on the plane that don't stink, don't bring your own fucking food. When I fly out of Miami, I made twenty Cuban sandwiches. I tell them not to cook them. I put them in my overnight compartment. Nobody even knows. Like a doctor, I put it right <laughs> next to my sleep apnea machine. A bag of fucking Cuban sandwiches. Now, if I was to cook them and put them on the plane, they'd have to make a detour in Detroit because the plane would stick like fucking garlic. Fuck. So I would never do that. I would never do something like that in a fucking plane. But people don't give a fuck. They bring those nasty sandwiches on a plane and shit. McDonald's smells terrible on a plane. Curry right? smells terrible on a plane. Like, I love curry. Oh, you the can't food. do that. Listen, you can't do curry, that. Like, strong curry on Listen, a plane. Let me is, tell you is, something. Is, if I'm on a plane, I eat a couple edibles. And you sit next <laughs> to me with curry. It's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. I'm going to bring the buzzer and make up flies and everything. But I heard you on the phone talking about fucking your cousin Khabib. You'll meet what? him at the airport. You're I will. You straight to that? Oh, you sit next to me with hummus or well, that shit. I will dial 911. They sell hummus on the plane, though. I will be fucking Henry Hill. I will dial you the fuck out and tell him I just heard. I smell cigarettes on you. I smell fucking, uh, what's that shit? Uranium. Not, pe not pedophile juice, uranium. Uranium. I smell uranium on you. I'll make up stories. You sure? I need more. I got no time for it. I fuck, You got on a plane in my area with hummus. I'm going to report you to the authorities. You understand me? <laughs> You're going to find the air marshal? <coughs> they, give, they gave me. A virgin gives you hummus. Yeah, American, I think. I don't think American ever gave me hummus. I know <laughs> virgin gives me fucking hummus. What do you do? I just don't even open it. I tell her, take it off my plate, please. Because they give you a menu on Virgin. And it'll say hummus. I'll tell her, listen, forget the chips and the hummus. I don't, really? You don't want them? No, I don't want them. And I suggest you don't have them. <laughs> I look at the lady next to me. I suggest you don't have them either because I'm going to puke. <laughs> really? I can't take it. If you eat hummus, I'm going to puke after six fucking minutes. And I just had a big breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> they don't eat the fucking hummus. I tell people right next to me, right there, I don't give a fuck. You're not eating that shit. Don't even fucking think about it. Man, fuck. I love that's it. That's crazy. Oh, my God. I don't like these motherfuckers that walk around with a half cup of coffee either. Drink your fucking coffee and finish it. Let's go. On the way. These motherfuckers that get on the plane with a half cup of coffee, then they fall asleep, and I'm just staring at the cup the whole time in suspense. <laughs> After you fall asleep next to me, I throw the coffee cup out. Come here for a second. Take that coffee. I don't even touch the <laughs> fingerprints. I, don't, I hate dead coffee. Get that shit away from me altogether.